Greg, the Arkansas National Guard says they typically see two soldier suicides every year. And the fact that it's January and they've already seen two, the state's adjutant general is speaking out and speaking up. There is no stigma associated with uh, reaching out. But still, there's, you know, in every person, there's always some natural hesitance to say and and to recognize I need help. Arkansas's adjunct general speaking up after two guardsmen took their own lives. Tonight, he and one of the 24 chaplains across the guard are hoping the community will become the front line in stopping soldier suicide. We have three core missions, nurture the living, comfort the wounded, and honor the dead. Of those three missions, whenever we have a suicide, whenever we have someone who is struggling, we want to continue to nurture those who we find alive. So it's vitally important for us to have friends and family let us know as soon as possible whenever they spot something that's going on. The governor echoing their plea to support the brothers and sisters in arms. Whenever there is a depression, whenever there are the warning signs, uh, you've got to make sure that you embrace the family member. You've got to make sure that you uh, get them the help and assistance that they need. And if you're an individual, utilize a call line. There's people that care and love for you. Major General Penn says the Arkansas Army and Air National Guard provide mental health training for all soldiers and airmen once a year. But more resources are available year round. In fact, airmen can call or visit the Ebbing Air National Guard base in Fort Smith. The Army National Guard can visit Camp Robinson in North Little Rock. The important thing, we've got uh, buddies on our left and right. And so uh, all of the soldiers, all of the airmen that are out there, all have friends in the organization that are willing to step up and help. Well, another resource that the Major General wants service men and women to know about is the Veteran Crisis Hotline. It's a number that anyone can call that is a service man or woman, and it's done in partnership with the Office of Veterans Affairs, like here at the Fayetteville Hospital. Of course, you can call the number you see on your screen right now to reach that hotline. And there are other resources available, too. We have a link on our website. That's 4029TV.com. Reporting live in Fayetteville tonight, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.